Hello and welcome to T3. One of the many ways Make It Work helps you achieve a stress-free digital lifestyle. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and here's what's trending. Google has announced some enhancements to their Google Suggest feature. Now this is the feature when you do a query on Google where it gives you some suggestions as to what you may be looking for if it differs from what the results that were displayed. These new enhancements determine where you are and aim to give you more relevant and localized search results. Google Suggest launched last year and was region specific, but is now tailored for specific metro areas. For example, if you're in LA and you search for Staples, you'll probably get results with Staples Center. Or in New York, searching for Statue gives you results about the Statue of Liberty. Google's new spelling enhancements will automatically spell check in 31 languages. If you, for example, if you type in AIRPT, it assumes that you're looking for airport and will give you results accordingly. These new enhancements are designed to give you better search results and faster results. USB 2.0 has been around for a long time now, and its successor, USB 3, first saw products introduced in January at the Consumer Electronics Show. The major feature is super speed, 5 gigabit transfer rates per second, more realistically 3 gigabits per second in the real world. But there may be a problem brewing. Intel's Light Peak made to throne USB 3.0 before it even gets going. It has much higher bandwidth, starting at 10 gigabits per second, and potentially scales up to 100 gigabits per second. How are they doing it? With fiber optics. They're transferring data at the speed of light. Light Peak is designed as a universal replacement for SCSI, Serial ATA, USB, FireWire, and HDMI. And its goal is to reduce the number of ports on a computer, which is the same goal as USB, but things like eSATA for external hard drives and DisplayPort for monitors need a lot more bandwidth than USB can deliver. Intel claims that Light Peak equipped systems will ship this year. By now you may have heard of geocaching. It's a GPS treasure hunting game that people create caches which are hidden containers and then hide them around and leave clues and coordinates on certain websites like geocaching.com for people to go out and search them out. In Santa Barbara alone there are 1,694 geocaches. It makes for a fun outdoor activity and you can use a handheld GPS device or now you can use your iPhone and the GroundSpeak geocaching app. It's becoming so popular that even Boy Scouting is getting involved and now offers a geocaching merit badge. As an Eagle Scout I think this is kind of interesting. It's also in addition to several other merit badges that were announced in 2010 including robotics and scuba diving. Thanks for tuning in for T3. For tech trends and more, visit MakeItWork.com. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and that's what's trending.